You're watching EAC News. Thank you for joining us. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi left Cambodia for Singapore on Monday morning after an extremely fruitful visit that lasted barely 22 hours. He landed at Phnom Penh International Airport at 11 a.m. on Sunday. By 9 a.m. on Monday, he was gone, but not before handing over a $150 million sports complex, confirming the donation of 3 million more doses of vaccine and signing six new agreements with the kingdom, among them a $270 million grant. A working breakfast at his hotel was the final item on Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi's Cambodian itinerary. He held talks with Deputy Prime Minister Hao Nam Hong, who is co-chairman of the Cambodia-China Intergovernmental Coordinating Committee. He also met with Minister of Public Works and Transport Sun Chantol, Health Minister Mam Bun Heng, Commerce Minister Pan Sorasak, and Secretary of State at the Ministry of Economy and Finance Vong Se Visot. They'll be managing the windfalls that have come from Wang Yi's visit. Those windfalls, in the form of six bilateral agreements, were signed at the Peace Palace on Sunday evening with Prime Minister Hun Sen. The six documents include a handover of humanitarian demining equipment for the Cambodian Mine Action and Victim Assistance Authority, an agreement on cooperation on supporting partner hospitals, a handover of equipment to combat the pandemic from the Chinese government, an agreement on cooperation on a $270 million economic and technical grant, a handover of a $2.5 million grant for demining, and an agreement on cooperation projects through the Mekong Lanchang Cooperation Special Fund. A little earlier on Sunday, Wang Yi paid an official courtesy call on the Prime Minister. He also held bilateral talks with his Cambodian counterpart, Prak Sokon. But the headline event was undoubtedly the official handover of the Morodok Decho National Sports Complex, where the close relationship between Cambodia and China has been enshrined in concrete. The main stadium's two 99-meter-tall prows symbolize the two countries, and the stadium's overall design, personally selected by Prime Minister Hun Sen, pays tribute to the historic relationship between the two nations, resembling an ancient Chinese sailing vessel. The sports complex is the largest gift China has ever given to another country. The Chinese foreign minister likened the friendship to a rose that has never stopped blooming. Cambodia and China are both developing countries, and we are building for the community together. And China will help to develop in all fields in both countries. And China will help Cambodia by giving the people for better living, get more benefits for their family. And we hope that Cambodia will be more prosperous in the future. The Prime Minister thanked China for the stadium, hailing it as a major benefit of the Belt and Road Initiative, as well as his win-win policy. He says the stadium will be a beacon for Cambodia's future. I asked the Cambodian SEA Games Organizing Committee chairman to invite foreign soccer teams to play or train here. And I ask all of our sportsmen and women who were trained by the Ministry of Education in their regions to come and hold competitions here in order to make this place a system for attracting tourism and development. The Prime Minister says a grand opening ceremony, to which thousands of people will be invited, will be held at the stadium as soon as it's safe to do so.